Okay, in this video, I'm going to do another example of a cyclohexane ring flip. Um, I already drew out the, the cyclohexanes um, just to save some time. Uh, if, you, if you have trouble drawing them, I have another video that explains um, how to do so. So, so for this, this question, it asks to, to find the, um, to draw the more stable, to, to show the stable conformation of cis one tert butyl four chloro cyclohexane. Um, so what you're going to start out with is the um, the first substituent, um, which is tert butyl. Um, you're going to put it at the one carbon. Now, when you put your first um, substituent, you can choose any carbon on the ring. Um, I usually just go with this this carbon. Um, I'm not sure why. It's just natural for me. Um, so yeah, so I have to put a tert butyl. Uh, I'm going to put a tert butyl on this carbon. Now you may ask, you know, which which position is it going to go? Is it going to go axial down or is it going to go um, equatorial up? Um, when you're for, when you're when you're putting your first substituent on, it doesn't matter which place you put it at. You just have to pick one. Um, so I'm just going to put it at this equatorial going up. Um, so I put my C. This is the substituent, which is this is a tert butyl. I'm going to leave out the hydrogens because I'm lazy. Um, okay, so I've I put the um, the tert butyl on the up equatorial position. Um, so that's that part of it. Um, now I have to put a chlorine at the fourth position, and it has to be cis in respect to this tert butyl. So I go to the fourth position. This was my first position, so second, third, fourth. So this is, I'm going to put my chlorine somewhere on this carbon. Either it's going to go axial up or equatorial down. But from the name, I know it's cis. And I chose equatorial up. Randomly, I chose it um, when I put it onto the first carbon. So in order to, to keep it cis, I have, to, I have to make sure the positions are aligned with this first substituent. So this was going up, equatorial. I have to keep it going up. Um, so on this carbon, the up position is going axial. So I put my chlorine right there. Um, so that, that's going to be the first um, confirmation. I randomly chose to put this tert butyl on this equatorial up. And in order to keep it cis, I had to put the chlorine on the, on the fourth carbon, and I had to make sure it's going up. If I put it on this equatorial position, it would be going down, and that would be trans. It wouldn't be cis, um, so I had to put it up. Okay, now it's time for the ring flip, and I already drew that cyclohexane. So when you do a ring flip, all you do is you take the substituent, you keep it in the same um, direction that it was going, but you move it over to the next carbon. So this, so this tert butyl, I'm going to keep it up. It was equatorial up, but I have to keep it up. Um, but I'm going to move it to the next carbon. Um, yeah, I'm going to move it to the next carbon while keeping it up. So if I move it to the next carbon and keep it going up, I have to put it at this position right here. So I'm going to put it right there. That's my tert butyl. Um, it's still going up. It's axial up. I just moved it over to the next one. And now for the chlorine, I'm going to have to move it over to the next one, and I'm going to have to keep it going up. So over here was up axial. I move it over one, I got to keep it up so it'll go on the equatorial position. So it was, it was going up, the chlorine was here, axial, I have to move it over and keep it going up. So the only way to keep it going up is, is put it on the, ax, on the equatorial position. So I put my chlorine there. Um, and those are both your confirmations. Um, now you just have to choose which one is more stable and um, in general you want your bigger substituent equatorial um, because if it's axial it'll create more steric hindrance uh, for instance right here this this terp butyl group is going to interact with this hydrogen and this hydrogen over here and uh, it's going to have less stability um, compared to this ring which um, has the chlorine group and it's smaller so um, I think if you if you calculated the energies uh, with your book, you'd see that this was 22 kilojoules per mole, 
and this one was like two so this one's obviously um, not as stable as this one um, that's basically it for this question um, as I see some people viewing the other videos I just I, I appreciate you know some of the comments that I get um, but I definitely want you guys to, to let me know if, if you want to see a particular video if you have some kind of subject that that you'd like some kind of explanation on um, I definitely like to know to motivate me to actually go out and make the video um, so yeah please let me know um, your, your comments is what uh, what will keep making me want to make the videos so let me know and good luck